Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube. I'm here with the one and only Frank Campanella. Thank you so much for coming. It's always so uh, exciting when you're here because you always bring us something very special. Uh, what do you have for us today? Well, I have something special for you today. Okay, good. I have the new Gabor Summer 2023 Designer Series Expansion. Wait until you see these styles, right? you guys. Right, so you guys, we have five brand new wigs that we're launching as part of the Designer Series Collection. They're all unique. They're all very lovely styles that I think, in my opinion, will appeal to anyone who's out there, whether you like short hair, whether you like mid-length or long. This is true. This is true because we did a live earlier mm -hmm. and I got to wear all of these, so I'm already kind of pre-gaming here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved every single one. They looked good on my skin tone. The colors were amazing, super natural, and we got some new cap construction. Yes, we do. All right. Let's yes, just start. Let's it, show them. All right. And you guys are lucky because, you know, you have no one other than Roxy <laughs> to model these for you and present these wigs to. And we're going to do it to you, like, right here off the cuff. There's been no... You know, fancy special no, styling done no. to any of these. So we're just going to get into it and we're just going to show you how simple it is to get that look that you want in like seconds flat, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so the first one we're going to show you in the collection is called Best in Class. And I'm going to show you this one. Here is Best in Class. And we're going to be showing this today in the GF 1422 SS. And this is our color called SS or Shaded Wheat. Okay. Gorgeous color. Look Pretty at color, this, you right? guys. I'm just going to hold this up here. Look at that. It's got like a little bit of amber, um, a little bit of beige highlighting. Uh, so it's got like, it truly is a wheat. It's not, yeah. I can't call it too golden. Yeah, no, it's definitely right? a wheat. Very balanced blonde. Beautiful. So the SS Sweet is great if you like a blonde color, but one that has a little bit of depth mm -hmm. and dimension. Yeah, right? for a little sure. Tone. Um, let me talk about construction on Best in Class. I gotta keep trying. I'm like, mm, okay. <laughs> New construction on this for the collection. So this is coming to you with an extended ear-to-ear -ear lace, right? It goes just to the ear tabs. And then it has a lace front as well, so you could wear this off your face. You could wear this onto your face, however you like it. And then something a little special and unique about this cap is this, it's a golf club or C type parting. You can see that. This is a mono part, but it extends all the way to the back of the wig and around. What that does is it gives you less volume, less density in the back. So it just falls a little more natural. It has nice. a more natural kind of fall to it. Again, for comfort, we have our velvet ear tabs on each side and the velvet nape. This one happens to have an extended nape. So, okay. shall we? Yep, let's do it. All right, we get her ready. All right, my darling, hold okay. her. I got her. I'm gonna stretch her over the back. Roxy's got her hair all wrangled up back yeah. here in this hairnet. Now she's gonna find those ear tabs, right? Very important to find those ear tabs in front of the ear. That's yeah. how you know okay. that it's sitting properly, right? Yeah, see? See, she's done this before, I've I think. I've done it before. Okay. So what I'm going to do is a little tip is, oh, you, she did it already. Make sure when you guys get the wig on, turn around for me a little bit, Roxy, mm -hmm. so we show them. Get that hairline right up to your natural hairline or just a little bit past, and then you can start to play with it and start to release Look it. Look at how cute. Yes, best in class is a all over layered shortcut that has a little bit of length in through the front for some face framing. So you'll notice Within this short style is a ton of layering, very soft wave, right? It almost looks like it was round brushed in a salon. So you get that sophisticated polish with it. You get these sides, which look at this by the cheekbone. Look oh, at that. Yes. And then I love this little fringe here. It's kind of like a side sweeping. So you can wear it coming down onto the face as we were saying, or style it away. Now I'm just using my little look brush. I know, isn't that sweet? It's that so, sweet. so sweet. And then look at the other thing too is, mm -hmm. look at all this choppy texture, which really lies close to the neck and just gives you that nice little appeal where it looks like it was salon sculpted, right? With just a razor and brought down. Right. Again, if you want some extra volume, that will do. You can get some extra volume out of that. Just work it through with your hands is all you need to do. And that's the beauty of this particular style, this collection. Um, you can use a little bit of hairspray if you want. I would encourage anyone, if you like product, I like product. Again, I've, I've worked with product my whole life in the salon. So I like to style with a little bit of product. I like to know that like once I get it set, it's like set it and forget it, right? Yeah. You can go to work, you can do whatever with this. And then a little bit of product will just hold you. You don't need anything really heavy. Uh, just something oh that gosh. will hold it in place and give you just a little bit extra security, I think is nice. So, so again, this is best in class. We're showing it in the GF 1422 SS, which is our shaded wheat. 
and again, just a real sweet, sophisticated style. What kind style. of fiber is this? Ah, this is a heat stylable fiber, which is unique to Gabor. We've added that in the designer series. So one of the things you should probably know is that you can use this with a curling iron, a flat iron, uh, even a blow dryer and a round brush. So if you want to yeah. smooth this, you want to add more curl, more texture, very easy to do with the heat implement. Just if, keep in mind, if you're going to use an iron or anything like yeah. that, you don't want to go any higher than 350 degrees okay, good at to know. Height. Yeah. Good to know. And I like how, how you tuck looks. this behind yeah. your ear. Yeah. I might even want it off the face yeah. a little bit. Yes. But look how cute that is. This gives you that seconds. polished newscaster look. Yeah, also, it does. You know? And again, very flattering because you have this right here just under the cheekbone. Yeah. Uh, these are all average cap size. So if you're out there and you're, you know, looking to consider the style, average cap size. So if you are an average size head, this will fall just right underneath the cheekbone. Yeah. So it's very flattering. I think it really calls attention to the face. And, you know, I've always had clients in the salon who some of them are like, oh, I don't want to wear like hair off my face all yeah. the way. So this gives you a little bit of, a little bit of a security, right? Just yeah, a little does. bit. And I love the name because I was just going to say how classy this style mm -hmm. is. And then I looked and I'm like, oh, it's best in class. Best no in wonder. Class. No wonder. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, ladies. Yeah. And what again, do you think? Just, just notice the dimension in here. Look at that, that, that deep rooting that we do, but then how it just blends so effortlessly and just gives you that really nice natural appeal. Obsessed. All yep. right. I am. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of this collection because it is amazing oh well this is number done, one yeah we got four more so four five more. right so i told you there's gonna be something here for everybody so all right let's show them the next one Should we look at the next one best in class comment below if you like this one okay let's move on to the next one okay. what do we got okay so for those of you who are looking for something a little longer more of a mid-length right mm -hmm. or just above the collar we have gimme drama mm-hmm I was just saying to Roxy earlier, do you need any more drama in your life? What'd you say? I said, yes, give it to me. <laughs> if it's a, a wig, more. yes. <laughs> so give me drama. We're showing it to you today in the GF 812 SS. And this is our iced mocha. So it's got Beautiful a color. deep root in it, but then you have that mocha color. This is a really nice ashy tone color. If you like a brown with no red, no gold, this is so perfectly balanced. It's going to look just like a, like a, almost like a chestnut so hair natural. color. Yeah. Well, like the sun just kind of faded. Yeah. So, look at that. Yeah. As far as browns go, I think most people who are brunette will really, or like to wear brunette, sure. will really enjoy this color. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about the construction of the Give Me Drama. So what we did on this is we extended the lace front to the ear tabs, right? So you got that flexibility to wear it off your face. And then on this one, we have a mono part and you'll see the mono part goes to just about three quarters to the back of the wig and then it stops. And that is to give us that extra volume and fullness in the crown. The drama. So The drama. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. Well said. See? <laughs> <laughs> then we have our velvet ear tabs, right? And our velvet nape on this. So nice, comfortable. And of course, the personal fit cap, which stretches to accommodate. So as we were saying before, even though these are an average style cap, if you adjust these hook and loop fasteners in the back, sure. you can tighten it down or you can open it up. So lots of versatility there. So, okay. The way to do this one, I take this out of the box. I'm going to tell you guys my little trick. It's not anything too fancy. I get a little bit of water, especially on the curly wigs, and I just mist it lightly and give it a good shake. Yes. All right. This kind of like wakes up the wig it kind of lets that fiber breathe oh, it kind of releases it. it a little bit right it just like became alive <laughs> yeah, it did right and <laughs> and the whole thing is we want to keep it simple right yeah. because you, you want to be able to use things you have at home if, especially if you don't have a lot of product and you're not into a lot of product so a little mist with water sometimes mm -hmm. will be just what you need to get it started okay a little detangling spray anything mm -hmm. like that all right do me the honors roxy all please right. hold the front and we're going to stretch this over again once this is over and it's it's like situated in Roxy's name. Yep. She's going to look for those ear tabs. You got the ear tabs. Okay. Let me just use it. And oh, a little tip for you guys too. When yeah. you get the wig on, right? And you get those ear tabs on. I see a lot of people, they just leave them kind of that, winging yes, out. Yes, like this. Yeah. Don't leave them winging Don't out. Don't do this. They have little metal stays yeah. in there. This wig, you can bend it, make like a C and curve yeah. it towards your temples. And that's going to hold the wig in place. So think about that when you're putting it on. So we moved it just to Roxy's hairline, right? And now I'm just going to go in with wow. my brush. And even really, you could do your own, do with your hands, really. But I like to use this pick. This pick is a great way to get into a wig without really getting too deep into it. You know, so you don't have to right. worry about ruining the set. So I just kind of work with it a little bit, kind of see where it naturally wants to fall in the beginning. 
So that I think is a great way to do it. And this has just a ton of movement, a ton of wave. Oh, let's see the bag. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get back there, Roxy. You beat me there. Well, look at this. Look at this form in here. You have it sitting close to the nape, so it has a very nice silhouette, right? Because it sits tight. It gives the illusion of length, but then all of this curl and all of this tumbled wave in here really keeps it fresh and really makes it look, I think, very current. What did know? we say earlier? This is kind of a day to night. You day can wear this night. at the grocery store store in a nice white shirt yes. with some jeans and then late at night put on a cute little sexy outfit yeah. ladies and amp it up and amp it up you know this with the little pair of jeans looks so yeah. sweet and then again a little bit of product i'm using a little bit of you know light hold hairspray once you work that through there you can really jazz this up and give it that kind of like exotic evening appeal you know Look i think big that. big hair for nighttime is yeah. one of my favorites for so, sure. you know and again just work it through with your fingers Style it, use I a little bit of styling that. spray. That's Sweet, isn't so it? Cute. And you know what's another little thing about this too? This is like a little hidden feature Tell about us. this style is right here on the sides. If you really look at it, we have that long piece again we were talking oh, about. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. So this can frame out a little bit too. Oh, so cute. if you want a little definition along the jawline, it's kind of hidden, it's buried in there. But those little pieces can be pulled out and they really kind of add another different kind of accent to it. So you even get some shaping in through the sides, which I really think is Take a look at this flattering. lace, you guys. I mean. Yeah, it's got the stretch lace, so, so you don't have to perfect. use any glue with this either, which is wonderful. Yeah. All, of the, all of the Gabor wigs don't have to use any glue with the lace, so. Yeah, that's super important to know too, because yeah. I think a lot of people who are first time wig buyers, they think yes. you have to have all this tape and adhesive and, with these, you don't. It's no. literally out of the box. Spray some water, shake it out, yeah. put it on, kind of style it with your fingers. Yeah, and the thing about these curly wigs or wavy wigs like this with all this body is I literally can go in here and just keep playing yeah. and keep playing and make and it keep look completely different. And, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> totally. Now, because you could tuck this behind your ear too. I was gonna say, I was do gonna it. ask you, yeah. <laughs> look if you really look take this cute. back. You know, again. Should I do all of it? Yeah, do Let's all of it. And then we'll make our day look, right? Our day look is gonna be like kind of off the face, you know, kind of kind of more businessy. She's gonna mean oh business gosh. with this. Look right? at how cute. Yeah. And doesn't Whoa. it take out a different appeal as soon as you release all that hair, right? Look at that. Yeah. So if you like wave, but you don't want this rounder silhouette, you can just tuck it behind your ears because you have that extra length and you can change the silhouette completely. So that is adorable. I yeah. still like it like this though. Well, this is you're talking favorite. to a big hair I know, person, right? So for me, <laughs> I'm like, yes, make I agree it with that. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, another great tip for a lot of these ways, as I was saying earlier, is a great way to you know, store these is if you don't have a wig stand or you want to increase the volume yeah. is to hang them upside down on a clothes mm -hmm. hanger and that just lets it breathe even more. So then all you have to do is once you get it on is just tame it down with your yeah, fingers. That makes complete sense. You want to yeah. separate those fibers. Yes. Customize ladies, but you don't want to customize too much because you don't have to. But when I say customize, all you need is some water, your mm -hmm. fingers and play. Yes. Like make it your own. Yeah. I'm the whole idea is that we take the this. guesswork out of it, right? Yeah. And so that you can initially, when you get the wig, like I said, you missed it with water. It's a great way to kind of familiarize yourself with it and play and experiment yeah. before putting any product in there, right? Because exactly. then once you get the product in there, now you got to be a little more sure of where you well, want you it to be. Well, you give that room of every, everybody's going to be a little different in yes. how they style their wig. Yes. So I just feel like you give that versatility to make it your own. Right. 100%. So super cute. Okay, I can't stop playing with it. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> well, I'll give you another one to play with. Okay, you want to try another one? Let's okay. Do it. So the next one we're going to look at is called <laughs> Dress Me Up, right? Okay. Let's pull out Dress Me Up. This one I think you guys are going to like too. So for any of you out there who are interested in a mid length length, did I say that right? Mid length yep. length. Mid length yeah. length. <laughs> Definitely check out Dress Me Up. <laughs> Dress Me Up is a nice casual style. We'll show you and we'll talk about this. First, we'll talk about the color. We're yes. showing this today in the GF 4460SS, which is our shaded sugarish, sugared licorice. Okay. Tongue, yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's, <laughs> it's a, lot. a lot. But you're going to see here, there's some depth at the root. We've left a little bit of a rooted area in our charcoal mm -hmm. color because we wanted to give it a little bit more of like a modern edge, a little yes. more of a flare, right? So it's got a little more of a designery color yeah. edge. Let's talk about the construction, shall we? This is a joy to wear, people, and I'll tell you why. Because you have an extended ear-to-ear -ear lace. Look at that. It goes all the way to the oh, ear wow. tabs, right? Okay. So you can actually clip this up off of your face mm. if you're wearing it during the day. Then we have 
the mono part, which is extended. Again, curves all the way around to the back of the wig. The reasoning for that is to give it some lower density and to give it a more of a streamlined appeal in through the back. So you don't get too much volume. Right. Velveteer tabs and nape, yep. personal fit cap. And now let's have a look at it. <laughs> All right, Roxy's gonna hold that front. I'm stretching again. Is that Your tabs, feel like it's yep. back there? Okay. Like it's back there. Really interesting too, because you know, Roxy obviously has her own bio hair underneath yes. here, and we've got her in a wig cap. And your hair's pretty long now. I mean, it yeah, comes about it's here. Yeah, pretty long. And you know, we're still able to manage mm -hmm. to get the wig on, and it still looks very natural, even from yeah, the profile. Does. So, for those of you who have your own bio hair and you're considering wearing a wig just for style or fashion, you know, you don't have to have it perfectly flawlessly wrapped to get it to fit under the wig. Yeah. Um, let me just check. I always have to double check and see I if know. she's done it right, mm -hmm. just because <laughs> I should know better that you have, but, and you did. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, I passed. You passed, you passed. So I'm just going to brush this off a little bit. Hold on, Roxy. Okay. There we go. So what we have here is a nice mid-length bob with just some soft tumbled curl, okay? This is a very <laughs> undone, unstructured mm, look. Let me get closer. So and yet it still has a lot of style, right? Look so, at that. I mean, even though it looks very natural, it still looks, I don't know, sophisticated and polished. To yeah, me in it's so, so cute. Ways. So one of the things you're going to know, one of the things we did, when you, as soon as you get it, you're going to notice these ends are straighter. So we gave that a more modern appeal by making it a little more edgy, almost like we took a flat iron to the ends. Yeah. And you guys know they're, they're showing that online on the internet Absolutely. all over, right? Even with the longer styles, just a little bit of wave midway and then it goes straight, right? You know, I still have not mastered this. Like, I can't do it. I don't That's believe why, it. I, I can't. <laughs> oh, I can't. That's well, you know what? You don't have to now. Exactly. <laughs> so. I don't. I just use a wig. Right? I mean, it's it's such a, an emancipating thing, a wig. For any really of you who, is. I know there's people who you know, are wearing you know, wigs for necessity, but for those of you who are considering it just to change up your look or to make your life a little easier, once you embrace it, I think, and really get used oh. to wearing it, it's it's a life changer. It'll change game. your life for sure. Yeah. Especially now that I have a kid too. Yes. I don't have time to put on makeup, do my hair. There's no way. I, I used to love doing that. And now I'm like, I just don't have time. Yeah, but so you still you, want to look I the way you want to look. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so Absolutely. wigs are a great alternative. So remember we were talking to you about the extended lace into yes. the front. So look at this. Here's what we're talking about. See, this can be worn up. That All of this can come back and you can pin that up. So if you want to wear this during the day to run around and you know, do errands or whatever you got to do, yeah. go to work, really whatever. Really relaxed look. Yeah. But then if you want to like then bring out the, you know, the more glamorous yeah. side of it, then release it and then you can wear it kind of like for evening. So this kind of goes day to evening as well. For I sure. Think, you know. So this one that we're looking at is the Dress Me Up, and this is the GF 4460 SS. So that is our like salt and pepper gray. It's called Sugared Licorice. And oh, we know what Roxy too, if you bring your head down a little bit, yep. I wanna show everybody. Do you guys see that depth into the root there? That's what we added to give this style a little more edge, this color a little more edge. So it's, it's very believable, even if you think, oh, well, my hair doesn't have that. Right. I or think, like a natural gray would never have dark roots. Exactly. That's okay. You're just giving more contrast. It's giving more depth. Yeah. I like how you use more depth. Yeah. And the funny thing, really, when I pulled this out, we took it out of the box. I said, oh, Roxy, I don't yeah. know if I want, I want this color for you. But it's the only one that we had. Yeah. <laughs> and so now that I'm excited. seeing it on you, it just, it looks great. I mean, the thing is, I think you're, you have your, you know, you have dark eyes, you have your yeah. dark brows. So it really works with the rooting in there. So any of you who are trying to style at home, um, if you have like a darker brow, or even if you fill in your brows a little bit, you know, that'll help tie everything in. I always kind of, my kind of my guideline, unless it's like editorial or something like that, right. is your eyebrow should match the darkest color of the wig. That's oh, like my okay. tip yeah, to pull it all sense. together. So it looks like the hair color is inherent to your natural coloring. That makes complete sense. So What's this guys. one called again? Dress, dress me, up. me up. Dress me up. Mm -hmm. And take me out. Yes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Don't just dress me up. Yeah, take me out. Exactly. <laughs> I need the whole nine yards. That's okay. great. It looks, I'm, looks lovely on you. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this one. I know I say that for everyone. I'm really being <laughs> honest. I need to come up with a new word. Well, obsessed works for me. Okay. Good. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. We're going to take you into our next look, shall All right, we? Let's do it. So the next one, our fourth one, we got two more. The fourth one is called Glamorize Always. Now, this is for my my real uh, my sophisticated people. All right. This is a very chic modern bob. Okay. And we've brought Glamorize Always in this 
high, hot spicy color, yeah. which is GF 132SS. This is the Shaded Sangria. Ooh. Isn't that fun? Spicy. Yeah, this is a this is fun. So, you and know, this I, cap. Yeah, this cap is a good one too. Good one. So, for those of you who want a low density, you want a very natural looking bob, you don't want a ton of volume, you want it to look very sophisticated and polished and sleek, mm -hmm. then Glamorize Always is for you. And it's because of the construction that helps lend itself to that. So what we did is we did the extended ear to ear lace on this. And then you'll notice we added a fully hand tied top. What does that mean to you at home? That means you can, you know, part it almost in any direction you like. And also, the other beautiful thing about it is it's very light. It's very yeah, comfortable, say, right? Let me feel it. Is yeah. it that? Yeah. yeah. So it really is a beautiful cap construction. It also is low density, which means it's going to lay flatter, which is the main yeah. part of why we would use a mono or a hand tied top, right? Is we want that low that density. That sleek. Yeah. That sleek look. And then, of course, as is true to our personal fit cap, the velvet ear tabs and nape and personal fit cap. And I am just thrilled to get this on you because. This I think I I just, did you like this one better? Yeah, you did. <laughs> well, not better. I, I just I think with this color and yeah. I just like the sophisticated feel about this yeah. this hand tied top that makes it so low density. And I'm gonna point out all the the little things about this one that really add to it. So, okay, first thing you're gonna notice is you see this nice sweeping light. Look how flat this mm -hmm. lays, right? So if you don't like a lot of volume, if you're nervous about too much hair then definitely you should consider Glamorize Always because of the sleekness. Yeah. This comes, unlike best in class, this length comes underneath the chin, right? So you get that real nice feel of length and that edginess. Again, in through the top, just a little quick brushing. It's Here we color. go, oh sweetly swept over. Yeah. And you got I that sleekness that. again, right? But the thing is, it doesn't have to be worn this sleek. And I'm gonna show you this because if we actually, yeah. you can just turn to the mm -hmm. side. You can see that Inside the form is a bunch of razor cut layers. So look at this. Just when you release this with your hands, look what that does. You get this nice free form look. So if you like something a little sleeker, I would suggest you know wearing it with a little gel or a little pomade and then brushing it down. But if you are okay with just having some free flowing, free flowing layers, look at this. You have all of that in there. And then it all goes into a nice tapered neck, which is so flattering. Mm -hmm. I mean, that looks like razor cut ends. And again, I'm gonna turn yeah. you this way, Roxy. Mm -hmm. Look at this, this is this is like the money, right? You have all this beautiful short layering above it. And even if she wants to tuck this behind her ear, she can do that because she still has this long piece into the front that, so that gives her that. I think a lot of people like that security. Yeah, I, you know, they feel mm -hmm. like they have to have a little hair here. And so well, I think and just could, ha having that motion yes. makes it feel like it's your own hair. Yeah. Like when you can do this, without not feeling like some exactly. wigs they're too thick right there and you're like oh i can't do that because yeah. i'm wearing a wig yeah no you not know? with this and the beautiful thing about this is it's almost like a disconnected cut so yeah. there's, there's some sophistication to it in the sense that if you guys look at this or when you get this wig right you can see that there is this layered area here, which moves back and then kind of culminates in through the nape, mm -hmm. the occipital bone, but then this one length heaviness over here. That's very, very difficult to achieve into yeah. in a salon, and a lot of hairdressers can't quite make mm -hmm. that happen. No, they can't. Or can. a lot of women, even if the hairdresser can make that happen, a lot of women don't have enough bio hair in the temples of the side to, to fill that yeah, in. Yeah, to fill it. That makes so, sense. I, mean, I think this is a great starter wig for some people because when you lose your hair, mm -hmm. you're going through cancer treatments or whatever it is, you don't want a lot of hair True. because you didn't have a lot of hair to begin with. So you don't want someone to be like, oh, you're wearing a wig because you right. never had that much hair. So I think this is a great style to start out with because it is kind of more of a sleeker look. You know what? I think that is a great point, right? Roxy. And I mean, especially true. Yes, if you're starting out. not women like the, I mean, I do. I know, we do. We do. We, <laughs> we do. do. We do. But you know, even though <laughs> I like I it, we still have to design things for everybody, Absolutely. right? And so this one is for that person. I think Roxy was up a good point. If you are nervous about having too much hair from the get-go or having it look too full, this is a great entry level yeah, kind of sure. wig for that, that wig wearer, early wig wearer. So cute. What color is this again? Remind this me. This is the, the GF132SS and it is the Sangria. And you got a little bit of depth and a little bit of shading mm -hmm. in there too, right? So that creates a, some dimension. You got some highlights, you got some lowlights, yes. and then that depth at the base, uh, which so I really pretty. think, you know, is a nice finish to it. Gorgeous. Yeah. And this one, I mean, if, listen, if you have, you know, yes. the will or the desire, yeah, show you us. could put some product in here. And this really, you can really play up this layered texture 
and give it like a little bit more of a funky appeal. I mean, that's oh, what wow. I love about it. It just changes up that's so That's salon easily. inspired right there. Right? Now you're getting this kind of like, you can you can go from like little sophisticated gal to like, you know, fun rocker, yes. evening out. So you're limited by your imagination, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> limited by your imagination. But look how long that took you. Like I just turn yeah. around and you sprayed a little bit, use yeah. your fingers, lift it. Exactly. I just kind of like to yeah, work with that's, it that way. That's a good tip. Just lifting right there. Yes. And if you're going to start playing around with it, again, you can use a little water, a little detailing right. spray, or a light hold hairspray is a good way too. Light hold hairspray when you're just getting familiarized with the wig and you're playing around with it yeah. because it's easy to brush out if you want to. Right. Or, you know. Um, but you could really see the cut when you do this. Yeah, and I think that's what, what really gets highlighted is all this layered texture um, that if you wear it too smooth, you don't see. And then I just think this is so elegant how this so just kind cute. of cuts yeah, in like that. that. Yeah, Gorgeous. So another beautiful shorter bob style. Again, you have like this, the graduated back and then those nice face framing lengths. I think this is a great style mm -hmm. if you want to play around with it or you want a bob that's really versatile. Love it. And that's Glamorize Always, again, in the SS Sangria. Okay, do we have one more left? We have one more. Okay, so she was, this one came out of the box. <laughs> she was eyeballing this I, from like yeah. the get-go, weren't you? Yes, so. I'm looking at her now, I'm like, get her me. Yes, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on to the next one, and it's called Ready For It, and as I said before, I think you're ready for it. I'm ready for it, <laughs> okay. I'm ready for it, I'm ready. All right, so Ready For It is our longest release out of this five set collection. And I'm showing the Ready For It today in the GF 1923 SS. Color. Yes, 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 yes. And this is our SS Biscuit or Shaded Biscuit, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the things you're gonna see with this color is you're gonna see some nice light, light beige highlights in here. Very toned, not too gold at all, almost kind of on the whitish side, yeah. right? And then you have some deeper beige low lights in here. So if you don't like gold, if you don't like honey tones, then the 1923 SS is really a color for you in the blondes. Right. So let's talk about, I know you wanna get it on, I know, but let's talk about the construction. Okay, <laughs> construction first. Okay, so extended lace front on this, again, giving you the option to wear it up and away from your face or pull it back half up, half down. Great option there. Uh, we have the lace front, and then we've also added on this a wonderful oh, hand tight top. Yes. Yeah, okay. so the hand tight top, again, if you need to, you know, zhuzh your parting a little bit, or yeah. if you just want to get that look of a low density, you know, not too voluminous yes. kind of style, mm -hmm. this is the route to go. Then we got the velvet ear tabs for comfort and the velvet nape. And another thing too, one more reminder okay. before we put it on, okay? I know you're getting anxious. <laughs> okay. We have uh, on all of these Velcro tab adjusters in the back. So while these are an average cap, you know, if you are on the petite average size or I'm even your- I'm a petite average. We see? haven't been doing it because they've been fitting, but yeah. I would actually, on my own time, just tighten it just yes. a tad, just to make it more- Absolutely. And so you can do that. And so I wanted to just bring that up because people sure. are wondering what, what size is the cap and yes. if, I'm a, if I'm on the smaller side, can I wear it? You can. You just adjust these adjusters in the back. And also, those also release. So if you happen to be on the larger head size, this is a personal fit mm. cap. This will stretch to accommodate and you know just release those Velcro tabs. Some people even cut them off if they have a larger oh, yeah. head. They don't have to deal with them. Um, and you'll see, it really accommodates a variety of head shapes and sizes. So... All right, this one again, out of the box, what I like to do is I brush it all the way out first, okay? Because it comes with a set and you guys will notice that it has like almost like a ringlety look, right? Yeah. So what I like to do is to release all of that set, but then of course you're gonna be like, okay, well now it looks very soft and brushed out. If you wanna bring back some of that texture, again, a little mist with water, right, along the lengths, and then go back in with either a wide tooth comb or your fingers. And look at how that texture yeah, just comes right back. So again, give it an initial brushing because I think that that, in my opinion, kind of wakes up the fiber, makes it kind of like breathe a little bit. Look at that. That yeah. wave is gorgeous. It's pretty, right? I'm making her wait on I purpose. Know. Okay, let's Are you going to ask that. me? Yeah. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for I'm it? I'm ready for it. Okay, <laughs> she's ready for it. All right, you grab the front. You might have to tighten this one just a tad. Do I have to? Yeah, because the lace doesn't feel like it's laying right. Okay, Can you it let me tighten it up. Okay, guys, here, let's zoom in a little bit here. I'll show you. So here's that adjuster I was talking about. See how it stretches to accommodate? You move that to the center of the wig. Oh, that feels good. And yeah. that'll close it down, and then we'll grab the other one. You should do this before you put it on. Thanks, right. Roxy. Sorry. <laughs> 
All right, let's there we go. hold on. Let me get that one. There we go. There we okay. go. Yeah, that feels right. good. And set that down a little bit. Yep. A little better? Yes, much better. Okay. I can feel that lace laying flat. Yeah. And so one of the things, you know, that is really important is that you don't wear the front too low. I, I think that sometimes is a dead giveaway. And I see a yeah. lot of people tend to wear it like really low. Yeah, I wonder why that is. I don't know. People always ask me why I wear my wig so low. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wearing a wig. But the only way I could fix that is if I get electrolysis right. on the forehead. But I'm, not, I'm not planning on doing that anytime soon. <laughs> So anyway, I'm just gonna go through a little bit now. Yes, I'm using a little bit of a light hold hairspray, right? And just into the front, because I'm gonna get those little flyaways off of Roxy's face. Look at this, guys. Just with pressing this down, yeah. what a flat look that you can get. So and we haven't done anything to the part line. We haven't mm -hmm. tweezed the part line in. We haven't done anything. Just releasing this texture. Oh, so a very nice long shape for this collection. It's just a soft tumbled wave. It looks almost like you set it with like no, it rollers really or something and then released it. This would take hours. I know it would. To do. I know it would. So again, a break through it with like a comb. Uh, I like wide tooth combs really for the longer yeah. styles, you know. Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to like brush through it with like a paddle brush or like a, a ceramic mm -hmm. round brush, like with nylon pins. No you want to use a professional wig brush, especially for the long ones. I think it becomes even more important. For sure. You know. Because sometimes with long wigs, especially this is heat friendly fabric, yes. right? So the nape area will start to get tangled yes. just a tad if you're wearing it all day. Correct. So just be sure you're, I always carry a wide tooth comb with me anyways. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, it's just part of my... It goes in the bag, It goes right? in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> but here we have this, this lovely tumbled curl. I, I think people are going to really like how natural this looks. Because even though it, it has a clear style, right? Right. It still feels like you didn't fuss too much with it, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. And again, just misting it with a little bit of water, right? Um, kind of helps to create that separation. So, and keep in mind, again, these are all heat stylable fibers. If you want this a little straighter... You can take a flat iron to oh, it. Yeah. You can take a round brush, maybe a blow dryer. The only thing you want to keep in mind is not to go over 350 degrees Please. Fahrenheit on those uh, hot tools. Okay, keep that in mind. Gosh, I don't see why you would straighten this, but yeah, I don't think you have to either. To you. Yeah. If you do, I like I said in the live, maybe get two of them. Keep one straight. And keep one like this. Yes. So you're not putting so much heat on it. Absolutely. Look, it's always good to have a backup plan. Uh, always. <laughs> you always. Know? You know? Look at this, ladies. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is the longest the one in the collection. And you can see, yeah, I think, move up a little bit this yeah, way, Roxy. This way. You can see where this comes, like, oh, my God, this almost is to, like, the small of your back, mm -hmm. almost. So if you're looking for a long style, especially in the designer series, then ready for it, as we're looking at now, is the one to consider. I love every single one. I don't know what one's my favorite. I think I would wear each one based on my mood. Yeah, and what you're feeling, right? Exactly. Because they I all look all great. Them. Yeah. They all look great, especially, you know, when we've, we've all these different colors we've shown. There's mm -hmm. a nice variety. Mm -hmm. So even if you're thinking about, you know, maybe you like this color, right? The 1923 SS yeah. is your color for summer. But maybe you go into the SS oh, Suite for fall. One. Yeah. You know? So oh, that's a good point. if you're buying yeah. like two of one, you know, think about maybe your summer color and maybe your fall winter color. That's a good point. You know, kind of think of that as like your, your wardrobe. Well, I had so much fun today, Frank. Thank you so much for showing all these gorgeous styles. <laughs> And I hope you guys loved it and let us know which ones you get, what colors you get, what you love most about it and comment below. We'd love yep. to hear from you. Absolutely. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Thank you.